Ramsey Hunt syndrome. Every diagnostician wishes for an accurate diagnosis in the first attempt. But a true clinician knows when to pick up a hint and change the diagnosis. To prove this point, I would like to share an interesting case. A middle-aged man came to me with a complaint that one side of his face moved less than the other. While he spoke, I noticed his droopy right eyelid and unclear speech due to poor lip movement on the right side. I jumped to the conclusion that it was Bell's palsy and to confirm this, I asked the patient to raise his eyebrows and hold air in his mouth, which he was unable to do on the right side. When he mentioned severe pain and ringing in his right ear, I doubted my initial diagnosis and took a closer look. The external right ear had vesicles and a rash, which was absent on the left side. Additionally, these vesicles were also present in his oral cavity. This was a definitive sign that it was a case of Ramsey-Hunt syndrome and not Bell's palsy. Now, other than Bell's palsy, Ramsey-Hunt syndrome can also be confused with otitis and trigeminal neuralgia. Otitis can be ruled out by the presence of rash, an onset of facial palsy. Though trigeminal neuralgia pain is similar to Ramsey-Hunt syndrome pain, it tends to be paroxysmal, stimulated by triggers without skin manifestations. Ramsey-Hunt syndrome or herpes zoster oticus is a rare, severe complication of herpes zoster infection that occurs when the varicella zoster virus or the chickenpox virus is reactivated from its dormant state within the geniculate ganglion because of a weakened immune system. Speaking about the clinical features of Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, the primary three that are unilateral vesicles of the external ear preceded by otalgia, vesicles in the oral cavity, and ipsilateral facial paralysis were seen in my patient. Other signs and symptoms a patient could have are hearing loss, fluid-filled blisters on the outside of the ear and ear canal, vertigo, dry or watery eyes as a result of inability to close it properly, widened palpebral fissure and a weak smile. Ramsey-Hunt syndrome is also known as cranial polyneuropathy and besides facial nerves, cranial nerves 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and C2 to C4 cervical nerves may also be involved. The 8th cranial nerve or the vestibular cochlear nerve is the most commonly involved together with the facial nerve. Now let us discuss my treatment plan. I prescribed painkillers and a combination of 1 gram valcyclovir thrice a day for 10 days and prednisone 1 milligram per kg for 5 days after which I tapered it. I also advised physiotherapy for facial weakness. Other antiviral drugs that can be used are acyclovir 800 mg 5 times a day for 7 to 10 days, famcyclovir, pencyclovir, and brivudine. In some cases, surgery to relieve pressure on the facial nerve is recommended. If left untreated for over a week, Ramsey-Hunt syndrome could cause irreversible damage. The full neurological recovery rate is significantly as low as 10 to 30%. Pop quiz. With this, we come to the end of the video. 
We hope you had fun learning with us.